Gain staging is an essential technique for mixing your beats and getting the best, most professional, cleanest results. Not doing this can add distortion and noise to your tracks, which you don't want, and that's gonna ruin your beat, ruin your song. The good news is it's very simple and easy to actually do gain staging, and this video will teach you exactly how to do it from start to finish. So make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss anything. And this is gonna help you upgrade your mixes fast with very little effort, to be honest. So let's get into it. First thing I'm gonna do is discuss why gain staging is important so you kind of understand what it is and why you need to care about it. Now, gain staging is the process of making sure your audio is set to the right level, a good level, an optimal level that you want it to be at before you send it to the next processor in the chain. For example, when we have our audio here on the playlist, we also have a volume knob. Before our audio is processed by our effects over here, what's this called? Reverse, uh, this is probably this, yeah. Before it's gone through, you know, the EQ, the RC20, compressor and all that sort of stuff, we set the volume here. This helps prevent added noise, added distortion, anything like that, and helps you get the best possible result from your audio, from your signals. Another example is if you have added a new instrument, generally when you add a new instrument, for example, if you add a new Omnisphere instrument, it's probably gonna be too loud. So at that point, if you send it to your mixer and it's too loud, what a lot of people would do is they'd come to the mixer and they'd move these knobs. Fair enough. But what you can do is just change the volume on the channel rack before it even gets sent to the mixer. Then you're not accentuating any of those issues and you're not adding more elements that you don't want to be included like noise, like clipping, like distortion. With digital recording, Gain staging is a little less essential than if you're using analog hardware. Because with analog hardware, if you are, if, let's say you've got an analog synth, you've got a hardware synth and that sets its own volume. If that clips and then you send it into your digital workstation, it's going to be clipped forever. So at that point, you need to gain stage. You need to change the volume before sending it through to your next processor. But when you're working entirely digital like I do, gain staging is basically like a safety net. It's setting all your levels before you send it to the mixer so that you're giving it enough headroom so that you're not gonna get a lot of clipping, you're not gonna get a lot of those issues. Before we get into how to gain stage, which is pretty simple, if you want your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, you want all the effects that you need on your tracks before you even start mixing and you want your beats to start sounding good before you even get into that stage, you can grab my FL Studio mixing template. This, for example, is my Pop Trap Loop Mixing template. Link is down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash FL templates. And that will speed up your mixing process and have your beats sounding professional in minutes. But let's get into actual gain staging. So let's just play a little bit of this track. By the way, our bass is supposed to be on this, but right about now it's not working because I need to refresh the license. So let's just do a little bit of the verse and a little bit of intro, okay? So let's play this. This is called Ray Cooking. Basically, the basics of gain staging is just setting the volume at the initial point. So what I would do generally when I'm making a loop or a beat, I will use the channel rack first to set the volume that I want for that particular instrument. So let's say we just imported Omnisphere. Let me just copy this to another track real quick. Put this on there. And then let's go to pattern and just play this back. Let's say this came in and it was too loud. We just bring this down and adjust our volume here. 
This is gain staging because it's adjusting the gain in each stage before it gets to the next processor, okay? That's basically what gain staging is. Very simple. It just means you don't just blast everything to the top and then send it to the mixer and then try to adjust from there because you may have accidentally created distortion, created noise and created other artifacts that you don't really want in your mix. So at this point, when I start with this basic instrument and I change the volume, I then bounce it down to an audio file. So after I've adjusted the volume on the channel rack, I then send it to the mixer, add the effects that I wanna add to it. Then I'll bounce it down to audio and then I'll do another set of gain staging because I'll be adjusting the volume here to make sure it's where I want it to be. And then I'll send it back to the mixer. And honestly, usually nine times out of 10, I don't even touch these mixer knobs. I do not touch the gain and the volume whatsoever because my template has set up how it needs to be. And I just create all the mixing from the channel rack and the audio clips and that works perfectly. But if you've already sent your audio to the mixer, you can still use the channel rack mixer to change the volume. For example, this is being sent to this track. If you play this back, and of course it's already sent to the mixer and we can or we can also change the volume. So if you're ever at a point where you're like, wow, this is too high or this is too low, go back to the earliest point of that audio signal where you can change the volume. So here it's in the channel rack, but usually past this point, it will be the audio file. Go back to wherever is the first point on the processing chain change the volume there and then send it through to the mixer. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So that's gain staging, very, very easy. Basically gain staging is when you change the volume or the gain of an audio signal before it's sent to the next processor in its processing chain. So before we send anything to the mixer, the levels are already set. So we don't need to change the levels in the mixer. We don't need to then compensate for any clipping, any distortion that we've created prior to sending that signal through to the mixer. If you've got any questions or any other videos you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer your questions and help clarify this if you don't get it. Check out that video next and I'll see you the next one. Peace out.